This is Saurabh, and you're listening to my favorite talk show, The VG Show with Aditya. I was sifting through my DVD collection of movies when I came across this movie, Krish 3. And after 150 minutes of watching the movie, though for me, the run time was 120 minutes, I fast forwarded the songs, which meant I saved 30 minutes of meaningless plot distraction and I have only one word describe this movie even though I saw the movie for the first time after it was released nine years ago. A theater of the absurd is one word you can describe this movie in but let's go into details as to what all is the absurdity in this movie. To the Indian movie tradition of copying from other movies from writers, directors and other individuals involved in the movie having no idea how to copy and paste. What turns out is a bad mix of plagiarism. There were too many plot points in the movie which eventually turned out to be the plot holes which made the movie from what it could have been a decent science fiction Indian movie to a poorly copied atrocious CGI mixed movie. Let me give you some examples. We all know that by the time this movie was made, the character of Krish, the main protagonist, the hero had already been accepted by the population as a vigilante. It wasn't exactly vigilante justice which was being meted out in these movies. It was more about a call for action. So what all points were taken from other movies? Well, they took the idea of call to action and a moral dilemma from the TV show, the science fiction Indian superhero TV show Shakti Man, which in one word was a disaster due to its weak storyline and atrocious plot points. So the weak storyline continues in this movie. There is an antagonist who has an issue that he cannot walk. His lower body is paralyzed. So what does the antagonist do? He releases a virus into being a cat among the pigeons. The world's scientists work hard to create an antidote but they fail to do so and then smartly releases the antidote and wants to use the money gained from the of the said antidote and use that money to understand what is happening to his body. Imagine if this movie had been released even a year ago or let's say somewhere in late 2019. The idea of virus antidotes and the profit earned from antidotes which we all know is the basic idea of such companies well it's universal truth let's not mask it had this movie even come somewhere in january 2020 it would have had different reactions but since it came in 2011 there was no trace of such viruses being released so people didn't take that seriously the same way we would have not taken the movie Contagion seriously because it came in 2011. Those who have seen the movie Superman, X-Men and other such movies understand what the basic idea of these movies is. But the writers have taken ideas from three different movies. The protagonist or Krish being envisioned in the shadow of Superman with his power of flying his super hearing and saving people whenever needed especially the airplane scene where he saves the airplane from crash landing that has been blatantly picked up from the first superman movie ever made in 1987 compared to the character of superman whose Physical prowess is well known. We all know why the character of Superman or Supergirl is strong. Why are they physically strong? Because such is their power. They are not technically Earth inhabitants. They are from another planet. 
so they take that energy from the sun but that will be discussed later but here you could see that in every such plot points where the protagonist is supposed to save people or humanity from a crisis he struggles he is always on as the term is used in sports in back foot he has to use his extra power to make sure that he is able to save the humanity or individuals and then after every time the character saves them there is a moral lesson on to the character of the antagonist well it's a copy of professor x charles xavier and magneto those who don't remember who magneto and professor x charles xavier is they are characters from the universe of the x men who were once upon a time friends and then turned foe due to different ideologies of what mutants should do the antagonist has a triage of mutants the monologue where he talks about releasing the virus in the certain part of a country because that country has a lot of population who will be panicking enough to buy the antidote which will mean profits further his agenda of finding a cure for himself it's an eerie reminder of the dialogue from mr india so once again an idea taken from a good enough good quality indian movie as i mentioned before this movie's run time was 150 minutes but i watched it for 120 minutes so what did i do for those 30 minutes well i skipped those 30 minutes it was essentially a 120 minute movie was a 150 minute movie why because there is a trick in indian movies when the writers fail to find any idea to take the plot forward when they don't know what to do with their character how to explore the antagonist the protagonist the moral dilemmas of the character add a song which distracts the people watching and songs always work that's the trick if you don't know what to add in the movie apart from filling the week plot holes by adding songs what else did the movie try to explore but it failed ideas taken from movies like superman movies like shaktiman the tv show which added the moral dilemma It have been a reminder of the movie spider man 3 where the antagonist is a scientist who wants to experiment more wants to do something different but the experiment fails there is a catastrophe and what ensues is the turn of a frankenstein like monster so yes a lot of these from which ideas were borrowed well should borrowed or should we have some other nomenclature i leave it to the discretion of the people who watch the movie let's get to the antagonist or the semi villain of the story the antagonist has its own story why it is on a wheelchair why the antagonist was paralyzed the back story is revealed though not for long magneto is still one of the most loved antagonists because of the idea the character possesses and here this character was trying to emulate the idea of magneto when it rose where the character could move metals and heavy machinery the final scene where the two characters physically fight it off one to save humanity one to control humanity it reminded me of the final scene from where neo meets with agent smith It was one of the most beautifully choreographed fight scenes which will go into the vintage section here in this movie they too try to emulate that but it falls flat on the face because they are unable to recreate that same impact that scene had because while the character of neo realized 
who he was, what kind of powers he had, what he could do with the unbridled power given to him. The character of Krish was always struggling. He was unable to live up to his full potential as to what he had. He was always, as the term goes, on the back foot. Character of Krish in one word was unable to stay off the human side, become the savior of humanity as was proposed by the writers. This is the point where the writers fail to live up to the full potential of pouring this side of the character more. In fact, they were focusing more on the human side of this superhero. So for me, I would rate this movie as 2.5 out of 10. Now let's have some fun with this song. Baar baar dekho, azar baar dekho, ki dekhne ki cheez hai, hamara dil ruba, tali ho, tali ho, tali ho. Yes, there are other people who are in the heart of the heart, in the heart of the heart of the heart. पर ये बात कहा हाँ जी हाँ दार यहाँ लाखों दिल के बहार यहाँ पर ये बात कहा अल हुस्न लाजवाब ये अदा टाले हो टाले हो टाले हो मेला एक जान ए महफिल मेला या चिराग ए मंजिल मेला ये ना पूछो कहा दिल मेला एक जान ए महफिल मेला या चिराग ए मंजिल मेला ये ना पूछो कहा नया ये आशिकी का राज है मेरा टाले हो टाले हो टाले हो बल्ले बल्ले उठ के मिस्टर क्यों चले प्यार पे मेरे कहूँ क्यों चले जाओ मेहरबान बल्ले बल्ले उठ के मिस्टर क्यों चले प्यार पे मेरे कहूँ क्यों चले बैठ भी जाओ मेहरबान करो मिले तुम्हें भी ऐसा दिल रुबा टाले हो टाले हो टाले हो बार बार देखो हजार बार देखो ये देखने की चीज है कि हमारा दिल रुबा टाले हो टाले हो टाले हो ढोल न बज तुम वाली तार सुने दिल दी पुकार आज कर लिए प्यार ढोल न बज तुम वाली तार सोड़े दिल दी पुकार आज कर लिए प्यार ढोल ना वज तुम्हें वाली तार सोने दिल दी पुकार आज कर लिए प्यार ढोल ना वज तुम्हें वाली तार सोने दिल दी पुकार आज कर लिए प्यार ढोल ना टुनक टुनक टुन टुनक टुनक टुन टुनक टुनक टुन ताड़ाड़ा टुनक टुनक टुन टुनक टुनक टुन टुनक टुनक टुन ताड़ाड़ा टुनक टुनक टुन टुनक टुनक टुन टुनक टुनक टुन ताड़ाड़ा टुनक टुनक टुन टुनक टुनक टुन टुनक टुनक टुन ताड़ाड़ा यारा रंग बरंगी नाल पेड़ी नाल चंगी दुनिया यारा रंग बरंगी नाल पेड़ी नहीं चंगी दुनिया यारा रंग बरंगी नाल पेड़ी नहीं चंग सुन यारा बोले एक तारा मेंदी दा यारा टुनक टुनक टुन टुनक टुनक टुन टुनक टुनक टुन 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 टुनक ट
खड़े मेरे नाल हस मैनू दिल वाली दस नहीं ते तेरी मेरी बस ढोल ना खड़े मेरे नाल हस मैनू दिल वाली दस नहीं ते तेरी मेरी बस ढोल ना खड़े मेरे नाल हस मैनू दिल वाली दस नहीं ते तेरी मेरी बस ढोल ना खड़े मेरे नाल हस मैनू दिल वाली दस नहीं ते तेरी मेरी बस ढोल ना तू जन्म चकोर साडे वर गन हो रब हत साडी डोर डोल ना तू जन्म चकोर साडे वर गन हो रब हत साडी डोर ढोल ना तू चन में चकोर साडे वर गन हो रब हत साडी डोर ढोल ना तू चन में चकोर साडे वर गन हो रब हत साडी डोर ढोल ना टुनक न टुन 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 टाडाडा टुनक न टुन 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 टाडाडा टुनक न टुन 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 टाडाडा ताराडा टुनक टुनक टुम टुनक टुनक टुम टुनक टुनक टुम ताराडा टुनक टुनक टुम टुनक टुनक टुम टुनक टुनक टुम ताराडा I drew a deep breath and embarked on my speech for the defense if Bertram was to be put in the right light now was the moment through her manner so had been affable and she had given no sign of being about to go off with a bang but one couldn't be sure that that wasn't because she was just biding her time it's never safe to dismiss aunt lightly at times like this as i said i heard he was on his way complete with freckled human pekinese I'm sorry aunt Dahelia that you should have been subjected to this unwarrantable intrusion and I would like to make it abundantly clear that it was not the outcome of any advice or encouragement from me I was in total ignorance of his intentions had he confided in me his purpose of inflicting his presence on you I should have I paused for she had asked me rather ludicrously to put a sock in it babbling you ghastly young gas bag what's all this silver tongue orator stuff about i was mainly expressing my regret that you should have been subjected well don't there's no need to apologize i couldn't be more pleased I admit and I am always happier when I don't have spunk bottle breathing down the back of my neck and taking up space in the house which I required for other purposes but the girl was as welcome as mana in the wilderness the one that cries for scripture knowledge I was speaking of I had no difficulty in grasping her allusion she was referring to an incident which occurred when the children of israel were crossing some desert or other and were solely in need of refreshment rations being on the slender side and they were just saying to one another how well a spot of manna would go down and regretting that there was none in the quartermaster's shorts when blowed if a whole ward of the stuff 
that didn't descend from the skies just making their day. For more awesome content, tune in to the next episode of the weekly show with Aditya. For more awesome content, tune in to the next episode of the weekly show with Aditya.